Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, we are ready to get started with part three of our What's New presentation. And we are gonna be talking about some data management enhancements. Um, and e-drawing enhancements. So, uh, so let's jump right in here. So uh, e-drawings, uh, a few enhancements this year, uh, pretty cool, just makes uh, working with a little bit uh, e even easier, uh, especially when we're working in the HTML environment online. So let's take a look uh, at some of the enhancements there. So, uh, you know, e-drawings, it does really excel at allowing you to share your 3D concepts while protecting your intellectual property. Uh, e-drawings 2021 gives you more options to make communicating your ideas easier than ever. You can now view custom uh, and configuration specific properties right inside eDrawings Viewer, which is pretty nice. See here, we can over to the corner. We can also do more with measuring. So uh, commands like measure have been significantly improved as well. So finding the center to center distance of two circular or cylindrical objects has always been available, but now with eDrawings 2021, you can choose to view the minimum and maximum distances. You can also measure the normal distance between planar and cylindrical faces, sharing your 3D designs without the requirement to install. Uh, the free eDrawings viewer is easy also. So you just have to save as a web HTML. This is very cool, being able to do everything online, embed these into your websites, all types of fun stuff. So any modern web browser natively opens the files, allowing the recipient to pan, rotate, and zoom, as well as view configurations, exploded states, section views, uh, and more. So this is uh, this is very cool. If you've never tried the um, the web version of this before, uh, it's pretty neat what you can do. Um, no plugins required, which is really great. eDrawings web HTML format now supports measurement. So directly inside the web browser, uh, you can now uh, use the measurement tool and get measurements right off of your uh, your part. This is really great for things like sharing with contractors and stuff like that. Also new in 2021 is the ability to move and rotate bodies, making it easier to interrogate large projects without having to dig through an assembly tree. So you can just grab them, rotate them, take a better look at them um, all within uh, your browser window. So, so you know, cool little enhancements for e-drawings. Um, now let's talk about PDM. So, uh, so PDM, some very, very uh, powerful new enhancements, uh, some great enhancements uh, just in, on, on performance, uh, on layout, uh, some of those tabs on the, uh, the add-in, um, and uh, some new workflow uh, visual enhancements as well. So starting with uh, expanded configura configurability and increased performance uh, just to help us manage our team's file-based processes. Right? So one of the best features of SOLIDWORKS PDM has long been the integration with Windows Explorer. And in 2021, support for the latest Windows 10 elements like the ribbon interface is even better. So while icons are visually appealing, everybody knows details is where the power is, right? Columns define specific sets of visible properties for users as they work in details mode. And now this is big time in 2021. You can customize these even further in more places and provide choices with multiple column sets. I can see you guys getting out of your seats and yelling. This is awesome. So for example, your users can quickly switch between different purpose-built column sets as different lenses into your data. So display different metadata. So if you're, you could have a purchasing column set, you could have an engineering column set. Very, very cool stuff in PDM 2021. You can also define columns in more places, like quick search results. You can add, move, remove, rename, and define permission to view and default preferences per user group or per user or group. You can provide more meaningful access to data for everyone. And in SOLIDWORKS 20, PDM 2021, a new administrative permission gives you more granular control over user ability to customize their columns. More, more admin control is always good. As you build out workflows, you'll enjoy the new and updated icons for states and transitions in PDM 2021. And for those wondering, yes, the pig icon is still there. You can still use it. Um, these help illustrate each step and add some color to our process flow. And you're building, you are building in visual rec recognition for contributors wherever they are accessing the vault. 
So in this case, this mount for forward sensor suite is in the cost engineering state. I can help here with a redesign, but what about impacted references I should be aware of? So new and PDM professional, Treehouse View is available in the Where Used and Contains tab. This is pretty cool. So we can just switch our view to the Treehouse uh, um, view, and we get a nice little Treehouse tree of all of uh, visual representation of all of our, uh, our parts. This can be printed. It can be exported to an Excel file with thumbnails. Um, it could even become part of your chain order documentation if you wanted to. So a quick multi-select, and you can check out just the right parts, assemblies, and drawings to make this change. Fast forwarding, we've redesigned the bracket to use aluminum plates. Converting this into a weld mint creates cut list items. And in 2021, these are fully supported in PDM calculated bills of materials. Even excluding from cut list is now taken into account. This is a great enhancement as well. It's not just weldments that are better supported in 2021. Derived part references, like those created from insert part, mirror, and 3D interconnect are included as well. Also, SolidWorks bomb component display settings are fully recognized. For example, I'm going to promote this configuration so the children will be presented at the next level up. There you can see them right there. A comparison of the computed bill of materials shows the new version is taking into account all the flexibility I had as a designer inside SolidWorks. With expanded configurability and increased performance of SolidWorks PDM 2021, you can really take your engineering teams to the next level. So some really, really powerful enhancements in PDM. Um, now let's talk manage. I may be a little biased here. I think Manage is amazing. I think there's been some amazing enhancements in Manage of uh, every service pack. And of course, new in 2021 as well. Some big time enhancements in Bill of Materials, uh, automatic updating of projects, which we'll see. Um, some really cool um, web client updates. And one of my biggest uh, you know, enhancements that I, one of the biggest enhancements I think anyways, is the moldless windows, being able to work in multiple Bills of Material at one time. So let's take a look. So managing multiple projects is common for most project managers and new in Manage 2021 is the ability to create project lists. Lists can be created to meet individual needs or defined by an admin and shared globally across all project managers, which is really, really great. Project lists provide easy visibility to powerful resource management tools like scheduling, capacity planning, and load charts which really just helps you make informed decisions about project start dates. Very, very powerful project management tools. Again, connected to everything. Assigning tasks to users and allowing them to update their completion status and deliverables is a powerful way to keep up to date on the progress of a project. And new for Manage 2021 is the auto update project service. This is really cool. This background service can be configured to check for task updates and automatically update the completion prog progress of project stages. So no more need to right click update. It's gonna happen all by itself uh, using this service so that uh, you get literally up to the second information in your project management. Another cool thing about this as well, this will also uh, add any attachments from within a task to the deliverable section of the project. So this is saving you a lot of double work. A lot of double clicking. It's going to happen automatically, which is really great. Manage 2021 also provides new ways to visualize project tasks. So out of the box task dashboards, these are already done in 2021, are accessible directly from the project and provide clear visibility to project task burndown as well. Having a burndown chart is really, really nice. Um, this is also available in 2020 SP4, I believe, uh, and newer, or SP3, I think. Um, so really, really great built-in dashboards there as well. The task board can now be grouped as well by priority as well as status, allowing you to quickly visualize the assignments of tasks, things like Kanban priority, um, uh, or maybe you're doing a design sprint, you wanna have these um, function or uh, set, laid out differently. So in this case, with a simple drag and drop, tasks can be moved to in progress 
And with a double click, task information can be accessed directly from the task board. These are like digital sticky notes. It's a very, very uh, powerful interface. Items are a powerful way to correlate design data in Manage. This item record has a reference to a number of SOLIDWORKS assemblies that need to be consolidated into a manufacturing bill of material. Modeless windows now allow you to open multiple records and work in both at the same time. This is huge, facilitating the ability to copy and paste from one bill of material to another. This is, this is gonna save a ton of time on bill of material. So when, we, when using the copy from command, you can select the assembly you want to copy and now preview the components to be added. So you can deselect any items that you don't require uh, to be copied over. From within the bill of material, familiar editing tools like cut are now available. So you can cut items, they turn orange, indicating they are currently undergoing a cut operation. And once the bill of material is saved, they disappear from the list as you would expect. This assembly has a sheet metal part that will need to undergo a laser cut operation for the flat pattern, as well as a bending operation on the brake press. New from Manage 2021 is the ability to create new and new from records directly from the bill of material without having to exit the current record. Oh, this is awesome. Simply adjust any metadata and specify what should be carried over into the new record. To add this sheet metal component to these manufacturing operations, you can use the new dissolve command on its parent assembly. So we can take that top level assembly, dissolve it into its children, and then we can do our cut and our paste. This command allows you to indicate which sub-assemblies you'd like to break down into their individual components. And once completed, you can remove the components that aren't required. Then simply cut and paste the sheet metal bracket into the laser operation and the brake press operation. New for the web client in Manage 2021 is the ability to preview SOLIDWORKS CAD data utilizing Web2 and PDM Professional. This provides the full previewing capabilities of eDrawings on the web to the users of SOLIDWORKS Manage. Finally, and I really, really like this one, when it comes to sharing data with suppliers, it couldn't be easier with the share command. This tool creates a unique link that can be added to an email or shared directly and you can add security precautions like passwords and link timeouts. And templates can be made available to ensure that all the reference components are packaged up for download. Suppliers can simply click on the link to download the files that you've shared with them. It's gonna be really great for things like transmittals and that sort of thing. Some big, big enhancements in manage, big enhancements in data management over round and in e-drawings. Um, and, uh, that's what's new for the data management side in SOLIDWORKS. And we'll see you for the last session coming up in, uh, shortly. Um, and we'll talk soon. Uh, also, make sure that you make your way over to the exhibit as well. Uh, ask any questions you might have on the SOLIDWORKS exhibit and there are experts there standing by to help you guys out.